How to create a stop motion animation. In order to learn how to create a stop motion animation, we first need to understand how one works. Conceptually, a stop motion animation is very similar to a flipbook. Small changes between each page in the book, or picture in the animation, get turned into motion in our heads when we see them in quick succession. The only difference is that we'll be using a camera instead of drawing these images on paper. To create our animation, we'll need a digital camera, a tripod, some objects to animate, careful planning, and tons of patience. Once we have those, let's get started. First, we need to choose where to create our animation. The solitude and lighting of the room are very important for this choice. It's necessary to choose a place where no one will disturb the animation setup. Animations can be very time consuming and could be in progress for days, weeks, or even years depending on how long you'd like the animation to be. The lighting is even more important. A room with no natural light is best so that the changes in the sun, clouds, weather, etc. don't show up in your animation. An alternative is to film at night. This is what I'll be doing. Next, it's necessary to decide what we're going to animate. What object should we animate? Modeling clay creations, dolls with movable limbs, or any sort of figure or small object make great choices. We also need the scenery, background, and any supplemental objects, like props, our main figures interact with. These parts are just as important and help to make clean, interesting animations. I'll be using Legos for all parts of my animation. The rigidity and fixed positions of the Legos make great, easy options to create your first stop motion animation. Now that we have set our stage, it's time to set up the camera. We need to put it on a very sturdy tripod so that it won't move while we work. Take into consideration what the camera sees and what you want or don't want in the camera images. It's best to set the camera to a low resolution image because we are going to be taking a lot of images. For example, a 2.5 minute video at 20 frames per second will be made up of 3000 images. We can't change the memory card because that might move the camera and ruin our animation. We don't want that. Now that all of our preparations are complete, it's time to start filming. First, take a picture of your stage. Next, make some small changes to the objects on your stage. All of these changes together will make the motion that you want in your final video. Keep in mind that smaller motions create smoother, less jumpy video in the final product. After your changes are complete, take another picture. Continue this process of taking a picture and making small changes until all of the movements you want in your animation have been done. This takes a lot of patience. Remember, even a short animation can require thousands of images, so keep going. Shoot and make changes, shoot and make changes, shoot and make more changes. When you're finally done, you can use a computer to combine all of the pictures into a video. If you want, you can include voices and sound effects to complete your final animation. These polishing touches are what make the difference between a good animation and a great animation. Now that our animation is put together, let's take a look at what we made.